Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 4, Episode 10! Oh my gosh, it's flown by. Flown by. <laughs> first things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try wink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. We already frocked the vote. Now, Dad, do you like, like to, to frock? frock? Or would you? I no. Mm -mm. It's a hard pass. Yeah. For me, I hate this challenge. <laughs> I always hate it. Uh. Because it's also like gotten so trite, even mm. at this point, or maybe it's because we're going backwards. But it's because we're going back. You know, it's like, oh, you guys really are people. <laughs> Gays are real people. Drag just... queens are real people. I had no idea. And you're like, it seems extra. <sighs> I'm extra over, and it seems extra dated. Yeah. Now. You know, now watching it where it's like, oh, and then the drag queens help their hearts grow three sizes and right. they learn that, right. you know, they're just people too trying to live and love and it's like, yes to all of this, but sure. also, oh my God, are we still having this conversation? Exactly. And I think that now that we're 10 seasons into yes. Drag Race, yes. it's like, we've already seen this. The only time we didn't have to deal with it basically... Sergeant was, was Sergeant Peppermint. Peppermint. Yes, Sergeant Peppermint. Oh my god, I love it. I love our just revisionist history where we're like, no, this is what we wanted. I honestly don't remember the other name. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that one was fun. I liked the one where, was it season two when they had to do, it was gay men, like, of yes. elderly, you know, of the yeah. past. Like, that was a nice sort of like, oh, and they got to mm -hmm. grow and learn and whatever. Even season nine. 10? The one that they just did with um, the YouTube, the, the social yeah, media kings. Yeah, it was like, oh, kings. Okay. yeah, they've, they've learned to change it every time, so it's yeah. not dude bros every time. Exactly. Which is great, but still the flaw of family resemblance and you don't look related well, enough. Well, sure. This is like, no, no, did you do a good job putting your partner in drag? Right. That's really, it do they should, look great? Good. It should really be find out who their inner drag queen is yeah. and share your ways with them and make them look fucking fierce as fuck. Exactly. That should be the challenge. Exactly. Bring sisters, them to life. Sisters. 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 Like, I, I don't there were this. never such devoted sisters. Um, now if somebody, oh my god, oh if my Chad god. had come out in the full lace yes. with the feathered fan, oh it would have loved that. Would that would be great. No, this always reminds me of like when I was a kid and my mom wouldn't like take family pictures where my sister and I would be wearing the same outfits. <laughs> and it's like, one that was such a thing. It's like that. And it's like, well, do they have to be dressed the same? I guess according to RuPaul, they do. So Dita has gone home. But she did live a piece of cheesecake. Cheesecake! <laughs> she did. Cheesecake! <laughs> the girls decide that they are going to boycott. Mutiny! Oh, and right. no fourth queen, no more. It was or we're it final was, four. No queen. Mo. Yeah. No more. This was a lot. I mean, I was like, oh, they're all getting along. Sure. But also, yeah. Top four and no more. Top four and no more. Woo! Nice try, Norma Ray. <laughs> I don't know. It was silly. It was silly. I like that. Good, good try, Norma Ray. Well, so Rue announces that Kenya Michaels has been chosen to return. <laughs> Who's it gonna be behind the door? Oh, yeah, they ah! flash through everyone. I still wish it was Willem. I still wish it was Willem or Dita. I think it was a weird move. Like, the top four was already so, so clear. So clear, and, and as many problems as I have with Fifi, like, there isn't really a weak link here in the top no. four, so, like, eh, is someone really gonna knock one of them out? No. No. And there wasn't really anyone that I thought would be like, oh, oh they can hold God. their own, yeah. except for Willem. So yeah. it's like, well, this seems stupid. I agree. They, an had, extra they had an extra dilf. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. That they already asked, I guess. Sure. The aggressive one. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Billy. I don't know. I think it was Mike. It was Mike. You want to say that it was Mike? I, I think you're right. I don't remember that. I didn't like Mike. <laughs> I'm glad you like that. Then I went to like, uh, what was those Ike Eisenhower like? Yeah, that was I like Ike. I like that Ike. Was the, that yeah. was the joke. I didn't like Mike. Then I went to Mike and Ike's. Oh, sure. Weird. Um, I like Ike always reminds me of the movie IQ. Sure. Because she says... You always bring up IQ. I love that movie. I mean, Meg Ryan. I'm not surprised, but yeah. you do bring it up and I enjoy it. And who's the guy? Tim Robbins. That's right. Oh, 
boy. And Walter Matthau. And Walter Matthau. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember when they turned the car into a convertible. Yep, and they go on a, a joyride. Canoe? And just... Don't they go uh -huh. on some sort of river rafting? Uh. Oh. <gasps> Uncle Albert. I'm steering the pole. I, I don't remember that. I think they do. Maybe they do. They're trying to, he's trying to solve a... a cold fusion. Cold fusion. So our, our so retro review of <laughs> IQ is going great. It's going great. <laughs> no. Help me, Ryan. Love her. <laughs> I feel like that trailer was before a lot of VHS tapes that I watched a lot. Like, it, it showed up a lot in yeah, trailer I'm porn. sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. so Bruno announced the mini challenge is turn these papa bears into mama bears. They had to dragify these dragify stuff, them. Things. Yeah, there was a lot of bear puns. Bear puns. It was making me laugh because I just watched Country Bears. Like that Disney. They made it. They made it. Into oh, that's right. They, they made did. It into a live action movie. Like eight years ago or a, something. A, a, peer, a, a period. Not long enough ago. Uh, that right. It made sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the main bear's name is Barry, and it's, but it's spelled like B-E-A-R-Y. -E it really got me. <laughs> oh, Barry! And they show it written out. Why? I mean, the plot of this movie. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> so Stephen Tobolowsky and his wife find a bear and they raise it as their own, but he doesn't know he's a bear, he thinks he's human. Okay. Even though he's a fucking bear! <laughs> and then their other son is like, yo parents, he's a bear, why is everyone not talking about it? It's weird. That is weird. And then he goes to find him, his bear self. What does that have to do with country bears? Cause the, cause he goes, he gets the band back together. Essentially it's the plot from Blues Brothers 2. Oh. He gets the band back together cause they've broken up, but it's horrible. Because, like, the plot of Blues Brothers is also that they're getting the band back together. But it's great. What were we talking about? Right, the mini challenge. <laughs> Bears. Yeah. I mean, they were all pretty decent, I thought. Yeah. Um, you know, it was hard to differentiate who rose to the top and didn't. No, yeah, it seemed like they gave it to Kenya because they were like, here, you're, you you're need back. an advantage. Yeah, you're back you or whatever. Uh, yeah. Chad does... This is what reminded me of Patrick <laughs> Chad did Malibu Bear. Yeah. Bear Bee. Malibu Bear Bee. It was good. Um, and Malibu Bear Bee. Yeah, Malibu. That would have been really good. A ballerina. A ballerina. <laughs> She's very jiggly caliente. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looked oh. just like jiggly caliente. It like jiggly. I mean, it did. So, it was so good. It really was. It was so Good, I loved it. Then next was Sharon, and she made Scare Bear, which was fun. Yeah. Like Care a little Bear. Care Bear, Scare Bear. Yeah. Oh, Scare yeah. Bear. This, I mean, this looked like a present from Nightmare Before Christmas. Sure. Right? You know, like, sure. here's ah. your Scare Bear, you know. Ah, Mom! Ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. ho, oh, oh, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> so Kenya's was La Trans Bear. Right. She didn't say much. La Trans Bear. Are those pasties? She yeah, are pasties. Pasties. yeah. She didn't give much explanation. No, <laughs> at, at all. At I all, mean. really. She just said, "Here it is." It was like pink. It was yep. wearing pasties. Yep. Yes, the pasties. I, I don't know. It was. It was cute. I it liked was it. Cute. Yeah. And then Latrice had a Porsche of the Pooh. <laughs> this is where. This is one of the times where I was like, "This show is so stupid." I love it. With this bejeweled. I mean, classic. Latrice, you know, yes. and yes. she was wearing like a tutu. Talk about family resemblance. I mean, come on. That would have been good. Mm. If she'd done... I don't think she would have time, but no, yes, it would have been fabulous. No. Yeah, that would have been fab. And then Fifi was Princess Bitch, Bitch Bear. Bear. Was that what it was called? Yeah. Okay. All, she had a purse with accessories. Mm -hmm. She comes complete with a set of accessories. Booger Bear. Those are all jealous bears over there. <laughs> Those are some jealous bears. Don't know what this was so exchange was. Bear, bear, bear conversation. Bear back. That would have been a fun one. Oh, yeah. It's just a real slut. I would have liked if someone had gone completely off whatever book and done like a lumberjacking, like, mm. I made myself a bear. Sure. Except it was a mama bear. But who says that mamas can't be butch? Yeah, whatever. So, Kenya wins. Uh, I think it was like a little lob. Sure. I'll give you a little. Yeah. Step up. 
Here yeah. you go, here you go. I don't know what's happening here. You're kind of doing Ruth's voice when she was younger. Well, you, you were a little Poland with it. It was a little more Poland. When I was young. <laughs> and she was doing a Katherine Hepburn kind of. I remember when I walked to school. When I was growing up, a man went to work and left his wife at home. I mean, she starts and she's really doing it and then it really fades away quickly. <laughs> And then it's just, oh, now I'm just RuPaul. Okay, yep. great. So the maxi challenge is... is <laughs> we're bringing in these dilfs that we want you to drag up, and Kenya gets to assign the dilfs. Yes. And apparently Fifi was just puppeteering this with her eyes. I did see it once. I saw, like... I'm looking at Kenya, and I'm kind of doing, like, the eye thing. So that way she knows, like, to send the guy this way or this way. Whether or not Kenya listened, I don't know. Did it make a difference? Not for Kenya. That, well, that's certainly, well, you never pick the pretty face. Don't do it. It's always a mistake. It's a trap. They always get the pretty one with no personality. Oh my god, right? That's, it's like what they do. It's true. It's true. It's a trap. Yep, it is. A, it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap! It's a trap! If it were me and I got to choose, yeah. I would be like, okay, everyone tell me one thing about yourself. Right? Give me some... Yeah, I want to know your personality because that's more than anything. That's really what's going to sell it. Whichever guy sells it the most was this. Sergeant Peppermint. Oh, oh. I thought you were doing your... Uh, oh, that simply wouldn't do. Oh, it just simply wouldn't do. <laughs> that wouldn't be right at all. Oh. Goodness, no. No, that wouldn't do at all. Richard Angela! So they break off into their groups and they all have to start working on their pregnancy looks because on top of it all, right, right, not right. only that, but you're gonna walk down the runway as baby mamas. I didn't love this concept, uh, particularly because it's just like, oh, that's a rough wrinkle to like. I mean, I think, yes, it sort of added something to it and like, I think probably gave some people easier silhouettes. Sure. Then they didn't have to do the full bod. But maybe make just them pregnant and you have to be their mom or give me more of a defined... Like a teenage pregnancy line? Doesn't have to be a teenager, just some defined lines of oh. what you want out of this challenge. I'm not angry at this though if they yeah. like took like a bunch of like 18 year old boys Ooh. and then they had to turn them into yes. like teen pregnancy. I like, like it. You know, yes. practice safe sex. I like it. Turn into a musical. <laughs> Practice safe sex, or you're gonna end up like this pregnant drag queen. I don't know. I like it. Okay. I like it. Okay. Sharon is talking to her crazy person, and I mean... I mean, he's crazy. Is that your cell phone in your pants, or you just happen to see me? Nope. Okay. She didn't tell me I was in the movie Anaconda. Oh What's going on here? Oh my god. Sharon, I really love it. Sharon's wearing these snake skin, like... Sequin pants. Sequin pants. And her crotch is right in his face, and he's just talking about. Oh, is that a that snake in your pants? Or are you just happy to see? Talking me? Talking about her anaconda. Oh my god, he like wouldn't stop. And then of course, like the running thing throughout the episode is just that he's obsessed with her breastplate. Right, he just wants to play with the breastplate yeah. all the time. This one's a freak. Michael, the psycho, is so weird. Oh baby, it's a lie. It was a re it was a reaction to something. Sure. I'm not sure what exactly no. is going on with him, yeah. but something is, and he was reacting to it. Yep. It's just always the same, same. Right. Oh challenge. God, the heels. Oh, I can't walk in these heels. Oh. oh, this is impossible. I don't have any rhythm. <laughs> I mean, I do often wonder, like, where did they find these guys? Because they're all like, I'm from a small town in Ohio. Right. I'm like. Did you answer so, a Craigslist ad? And how did you get to LA? Did they fly I'm you sure out they from did. Ohio? How did you audition and put your what is the what happened? And why? And why? I don't Couldn't know. Couldn't they find someone in LA to just come by for the day? Well, and if be like, it's like a story like, well, my son came out and I want to get closer to him, so I he you know, whatever, that. blah blah. Give me a little tell me a little tale instead of just like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh fuck, this shit fucking shit hurt. Walk in the fucking heels and, and shut up! Just walk in your fucking heels and shut up! Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I mean, Kenya's guy made the best uncomfortable faces. Face. I mean, his face said His it all. resting face was basically just... 
It was. And then every every reaction, I mean, I have it too. Like, I just, my face is what I'm feeling. Sure. But, like, his was rough. Yeah, it was. And he wasn't, like, leaning into it. Well, he wasn't cognizant of, like, the fact, like, he no. wasn't, like, oh, I gotta keep smiling. Because there was a point later on in the runway where he smiles and was like, oh, this is a lot better, actually. Yeah. And it was, like, immediately back to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> like sad French clown. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, we'll talk about clowns on the runway though. Well, then I mean, I don't think I've ever seen Rue. I guess flabbergasted is oh. too harsh of a word. Oh but yeah. But like, I've, I've never seen her kind of like, oh, I, I don't know how I how to handle this. Like she was overcome. She goes over to Sharon's table and. So I think I'm having a baby elephant. You want to see his trunk? Now you kids have your work cut out for you. I'm yeah. gonna let you get back to it. Oh. Sexual harassment just on like, set. Great. I mean, it was just usually Rue is like, right sure. there. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna end quip or right. whatever. And Sharon's face is like, I, yeah. Uh, uh, this is what I've been doing. This is what I. You. <laughs> you apparently vetted this person. We made a mistake. We made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and then she announces, Oh, and also, yeah. you're gonna have to do a strip tease. tease. Now, I wish it had been a strip tease while pregnant, like a funny girl situation, like, uh huh, like, here's my belly, that would have been sure. good. I guess who's to say it couldn't have been. Right? That would have been good. Missed opportunities. Missed. Then you made it seem like missed. Like misty? Missed. Missed. And then I was trying to think of like a drag name, like Miss Missed opportunities, opportunities or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's not great, but I no. went there in my mind. Miss Topportunities. Miss Topportunities. Because she's a top. <laughs> I love it. Miss Topportunities. I do like the idea of referring to like a potential hookup with a top as a top opportunity. I think that's definitely a thing that's gonna be used now forever. <laughs> Is your new drag name Miss Topportunities? I think it might be. I'm here for it. I'm here for Miss it. Miss Top Opportunities. Top Opportunities. Oh, <laughs> it's good. That's a good one. So they each have to, you know, they're, they're going into the runway to rehearse. And, you know, this is, again, the frustrating where it's like, oh, God, I don't know what I'm going to fall off this runway. I don't know how to use heels. But even whatever this is would have been more fun. Than, <laughs> it was, right. Uh, I've never been in public before apparently. Right? I have no personality or charisma. Or like even awareness of... Sure. Social I've, interaction. I've seen this so I can at least try to emulate it. You know what I mean? They're, I mean, they're, they're like baby deers that have never walked. It is weird and I love that, was it Chad was like, okay so you've been to a strip club though, yeah? Okay so I'm assuming... Lap dance? The yep. whole thing? Yep. Uh-huh. Pole? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay yes. so Let's do it. Like, you've seen it. Yeah. You can figure it out. That was true, but it was like, no, you can't. I'm fucking brain dead, dude. I want to kill him. We didn't talk about Fifi's guy's shirt. Oh my god. Okay, so not gonna lie, for the majority of this episode, I was just trying to figure out what was on this guy's shirt. And I don't know if I I'm actually still... watched the episode. No, it was, we spent a good <laughs> amount of time being like... Is it an angel? Is it, is it a mermaid? A base, a base jumper? Yeah, what right, one like, of those wings. Like a, 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 a man, a woman, woman, and a person in a choir room. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! What was it? I don't know. A person with webbed limbs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll never know. Flying squirrel. Yeah, I don't know. I, but I was so distracted by it. Yeah. Every time we, it was we, on screen, I'd just yeah. be like... We brought it up multiple times. Multiple. We paused the TV multiple, multiple times. <laughs> and still couldn't figure it out. Let us know. Oh, so then this episode starts to get a little ugly. Yeah. Um, seemingly to us in the, you know, editing at least, out yeah. of nowhere. Ladies. Can you vacate our runway, please? Vacate our runway. Get the fuck off our runway. I could tell at the beginning, yeah. he was trying to be like catty and like you know, shit talking. I'm giving them pure cunt. Right, like, yeah. oh, you guys can't even dance. We're the best, whatever. And then it just kind of evolves into get off of our runway. And Chad's like, our runway. Well, at first Chad's like, oh, really? Like, okay, it's, it's 
the room we're all in. But, but like, at first he's right. kind of, yeah. and then it like turns, like on well, a dime. A little bit too much testosterone running around here, Sunshine. You're not gonna fucking come up in my motherfucking workroom and talk to me like this, I just sir. Did, did. I think the real thing, I think you nailed it on the head, is mm. that the key for Chad was when he said, maybe there's just a little too much testosterone, sunshine. I mean, that was an instant trigger. Like, yeah. we heard last week Chad say that that was one of the names that people used to call him in high school and stuff. Well, you know what? Maybe you need to be fucking removed with your badass motherfucking attitude. Fuck that shit. That's an, such an old slur. I don't even necessarily know what the origin of is it of it is. I'm like somewhat in some way aware of it being a slur in some way, but it's so old yeah. and specific. Of course, he was the grandfather. And he was the grandfather and he was the oldest, and I immediately was like, oh, he definitely did this for real. This was ugly. It and was Chad ugly. And Chad was just like, mm -mm. nah, and yeah. it went off on him. It went from yeah. here to hear, to hear, to hear yeah. you know. Yeah, it really did. Ah. Well, so then he says like something, he calls Chad a bitch. You gonna let this bitch talk to me like this? Oh, I'm Do a bitch now? Do not call my sister a bitch. I just love it sharing in this way, grabbing her purse. Yeah, yeah. Don't call my sister, sister a bitch. bitch. They brought it up later in Untucked and we can talk about it, but like this was very much an aggressive bully oh, yeah. attitude. And it was like that same kind of like, even his shit talking was mm. like aggressive bro shit talking. 100%. And he talks about, oh, I was laughing on the inside and it was a joke. And it's like, but it wasn't really. No. And you it, know. I don't. You can I, say that? Yeah, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I stirred the shit up yesterday. And I wanted to give him something to think about. A little drag queen drama. So they kind of continue the bullying conversation from last week. Yeah, they're talking about that, and her guy is sort of like sympathetic, like, oh, that really right. sucks, you know, starts to... Starts the whole montage of everyone, oh, oh my god, let's this have this, yeah. You no, know, they'd wait for me after school and like beat me up. Man, so. I'm sorry, that's gotta be so freaking hard, man. You know, I'm learning a lot about the world. I mean, I, I hate to be so cavalier about I it. I hate to be so cavalier, and, and it's all important, and it was more important back then, and it was more impactful back then. Yeah, and I'm sure it's probably more impactful for other people that aren't us. But, I mean, at least they get there, I guess, or maybe they want to make that point. Well, well, he literally always... says we're all human, so. He says it. Sure. On all of these episodes when it's like the bro guys, I always get this sense of like, we're on our best behavior because we're on television and we're gonna like play the game a little. Yeah, I'm gonna say what I'm supposed to say. A little. I'm gonna play, but, and I'm sure they're egged on to pl do that though too, where it's like, now I'm real bro -y, you know, I like to date hard, or whatever. Play baseball hard. hard. And I play baseball hard. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I, I just don't, I just don't like it. No. I just don't have time. Uh, sure. For bros. Well, you know, I think that's definitely a 2018 thing too, where sure. it's like, you know what, time's up. <laughs> Time is up. Get with it or get out. I love it. Is that, did you just make that up? I did. I like it. Get with it or get out. I like it. Oh my gosh. Well, then I did love, so I do love when the bros uh, are made to be uncomfortable. That's fun. Yes. No, I'm not taping my dick. Just tuck it back and don't feel that bad. I'm not going to tape my dick. dick. And then Phoebe's guy's like, it's cool. It doesn't really hurt that bad. Just like, put your bag. It's, it's fine. <laughs> just that they're both in like half drag. Yeah. Well, actually, one this was... This guy was in the full drag. Yeah. Oh, but it just made me laugh. Yeah. It was like so silly. I'm not gonna tape my dick. It's gonna look like a tail. <laughs> <laughs> I think the balls are too big. <laughs> just pull it. No, just like... Just, just gonna, it's gonna be like a tail. Pull it in there and, and then <laughs> they just Latrice. keep cutting back to Latrice in the confessional. <laughs> 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 and then maybe if you move it over this way and just... I think my balls are too big. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sharon's guy is on the couch looking like fucking Captain Ron. Drag Queen Captain Ron. <laughs> loved it. I loved it. Just like, <laughs> with the wig. Yeah. Oh, that's also a retro view I would do. Fucking love Captain Ron. It's great. Grandpa Captain Ron sort of mm, realizes that whether or not what he intended, it came off right. in a way that sure. was inappropriate. And he apologizes to Chad and they kind of make somewhat amends, and Chad's yeah. like, you know, I needed to let off some steam, too. Right. They just kind of popped off each other, and was like, oh, okay, I yeah. guess. Sure. Just yeah, I feel like Chad shouldn't have to apologize Apologizing at all, but... for this, but okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, moving on. 
fun. And yep. then it was the runway. It was like, oh, okay. Yep. So quick commercial break, and then we will be back with the striptease and the pregnant runway <laughs> and a lip sync for your motherfucking life. We will oh. get into it. Yes. <laughs> So Rue comes down the runway in this like red Twizzlers dress. It was all very it was, like textured. Yeah. The silhouette was really snatched. I mean, she it was, was. Like, really good and this one looked expensive. It looked it was tailored and expensive and well made and yep. she had her fun big sassy Rue hair on. And yeah. I was like, oh you look cute. It's really cute. I like this yeah. a lot. And then Jesse Tyler Ferguson yes. and um Jennifer Love Hewitt. So many triple names. There was a lot of triple names. They were no Regina King. They no. were fine. Yeah. No Susan Powder. They were no Susan Powder. They were fine. Yeah. It did lead us to a fabulous idea, though. So, April and I still watch Modern Family, <laughs> and we're really not sure why. Inexplicably. But we thought it could be a fun podcast that we would call, Why Are We Still Watching This? <laughs> <laughs> where we talk about these shit shows that we still watch. Yes, that started in a certain place in a certain time. Yeah. And I've just been limping along oh my God. for eight seasons or more. Oh my God. Not sure how many seasons Modern Family's been on. I think it might be like 12. Oh boy, really? No, maybe not. It just feels like it. Maybe. So but yeah, we thought that was going to be a fun thing that you'd like. Yeah. I'm not sure what or it would like be a, exactly, but yeah, like an audio, like a just a, a chit chat recap. But it's like, hey, girlfriend, did you watch that show? Yeah, I fell asleep to it last night. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Could you believe that Cam and Mitchell are still characters on this TV show <laughs> in 2018? Excuse me, 2018. That kind of thing. Let us know. So the strip tease was really quite a tease. It was a tease. It was like, here is five seconds, if even, maybe. If. I feel like that's being right? generous. It was like the two flash away. It was, it was like, like two boom. and a half seconds. Yeah. One move. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, oh, we're on to the next. Yep. So they all come out and do a little bit of something. I mean, we're assuming they did the whole thing, but. But it was hard to tell yeah. who did. Like, I couldn't judge it in any way. Not really. Like, oh, I mean, I did love, so when Sharon and her guy are walking down the runway, she's like, it's like. I'm dancing with Leslie Nielsen in Airplane! And I was like, yes, you nailed it. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> she said that, I was like, wait, this absolutely would be some sort of weird fantasy character of like a German dominatrix that Leslie Nielsen was playing in some weird airplane fantasy. I was like, yep. uh-huh. Yeah. I see it now. And I love it. <laughs> and all, I mean, all of the looks, I mean, it was so quick. It was. Some of them were dressed like strippers and in bras right. and panties. I don't, it was a blur. It, it, the only it was. one that really stuck out as not matching and not really being sexy was Latrice. Latrice. She was wearing like a, a like a white camisole, like yeah. a shelf, shelf yeah. tank, shelf it was weird. bra tank top. Yeah. So, pregnant on the runway, pregnant on the runway, preg, 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 pregnant on the runway. <laughs> Thought I'd try it. It's not quite as good as pants, but. Yeah, no, it wasn't We great. tried. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Baby's on the runway. Baby's on the runway. <laughs> <gasps> what if they had a baby challenge where they had to like drag drag up, drag up a toddler? I mean, they have the views now. People would give them their babies. Oh yeah. Also, I would be really down for like because there's so many kids now. Like they talk about DragCon and whatever, where there's all these kids yeah. that show up. I would love that where it's like get like, like a teenager or like. 13 year old. Yeah, you know? yeah. Even if it's like 8 to 15 or something, mm -hmm. I think would be fun. Like, and it's just that like. That would be fun. You know, like kids that are super into it. I mean, but then they'd also have a lot of opinions. Oh, they'd have so many opinions. Because they would be kids. Oh my God. unfiltered kids oh my drag God. opinions. Oh my God. I would love it. I would love it. That's it would be such a, it would be a different challenge. That'd be really good. That'd yeah. And it would be inspirational where it's like the kids would inspire them, but also they would inspire the kids. It would just all be great. Yeah. I have good ideas every now and then. Okay. Look at you. Missed opportunities. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Obsessed. So first on the runway is Latrice and Sherelle Royale. Yeah. I thought their faces looked beat. Beat. Gorgeous. I thought hers was probably the best facial transformation, like makeup wise. It was pretty good. I thought Latrice looked fucking gorgeous in this black and white sort of polka dotted circle dress. Yeah. I mean, I, th I thought she I looked really, like really this. I thought she classy looked and lovely. beautiful, yeah. you know? Yeah. And her hair was right, her makeup was right. Sherelle's dress was too big. Left some things to be desired. Yes, it was too big. It looked like it was Latrice's dress. They just went, well, it'll fit, kind of. Kind of. 
uh, the sleeve, the one long sleeve yeah. was too long, the, the panels were too big. Well, the hem was like dragging on the her, ground. Her baby bump was really hanging low. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, do your ears hang Swing low, do low. they wobble till you flow, yeah. till you flow. Oh my. Do they wobble to and flow? To I can't do it, to and fro. I mean, I still like my conspiracy theory is that Latrice was in the bottom purely for the song that they had already pre-picked for the lip sync. Sure. I'm just putting it out there. So then next was Fifi and Gigi O'Hara. Okay, I don't know. So they really hammed it up. I thought they had a lot of fun on the runway. Yes. They obviously connected with each other. Yeah, they did. They really sold it, which I think yeah. is the biggest key with this challenge always. Always. You gotta ham it up and really have fun. Have a chemistry yep. between yep. each other. Yep. I went back and forth on this. It's like, oh, they match. Great. Oh, they match. Like, oh, right. they're both wearing the same bad wig. Oh, right. Like, oh, God, right those wig. wigs were so bad. Oh, they're both kind of wearing the same material. Right, it's the same dress, baby just a different... dress. Of little... course, in a baby color, pink and blue. It's like a Slightly little on the nose. different style, you know, it's like, okay. The makeup, I thought was really bad. I thought so, too. At first, I was like, oh, that's good. That's good makeup. And then when you look at it, no. at least in the wrong no. light, no. it was like, Most... oh, that's a man in... There was a lot of dark yeah. spaces. Yeah. It looked like dusty, like a little, like he had a, a dusting. Yeah, it looked of, like he stood behind a bus as it was like taking off and a, just a, covered a in dusting exhaust. dusting of exhaust. Of, yes, yes. Well, like Fifi didn't look great either. The, no. Because it was so... I think the lip really killed it. The the clear nude lip, there was pros and cons to Exactly. This. I thought it was a good performance. The dresses I thought were it was smart, good, smart, but lackluster. So then next on the runway was Lil Kenya Michaels and Lil Mama. Yeah. I don't think I'm really a little mama. <laughs> Turf face. Oh. <laughs> they come out. Oh my god. I mean, oh my god. Memorable. Oh my god. It's memorable. <laughs> they come out again in sort of matching baby doll. Yeah. Pom pom. Fur boobs with like the sweater sleeves. Yeah. Remember when like sweater sleeves was a thing? It was yeah. just like just the no. just the sleeves no. with the dress. Oh. Looked like bat mitzvah dresses, you sure. know. Sure. <laughs> Again, in sort of like a purple and a pink. Right. Um, did not care for Kenya's gold yellow lipstick. No, and I didn't care for their performance of this like somber. Well, I think I don't think it was a choice. And maybe that was just his face. I think Kenya was. I'm being sexy. sexy. Mm. And he was, I'm being sexy, aren't I? <laughs> like, I think he thought, I think you're right. I'm being sexy. I think you're right. And it was his, his the, with the, the combination of the thick eyeliner oh and the dur sad face. That's thick eyeliner. And she looked like she was putting on some sort of very sad PSA about you know what, teen pregnancy. Yeah, you know what it reminded me of? What? That Ms. Cracker look where she was like, oh, you know, like, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm such a sad the French clown. Exactly. Yeah, it looked like she was some sort of sad mime, you know, just like on the street doing some sort of performance art, like, <laughs> and this is what teen pregnancy will do to you. Exactly. Well, you know, yeah. melancholy. Exactly, it was, it was melancholy. a melancholy mother. I don't know, it's weird. But I, I truly think he was. I think for a lot of it, it was thinking, supposed to be. I'm sexy. I'm being sexy. Looks sexy. You know, and yeah, it just it was, did not work. work. So then next was Sharon Needles and Robin Mansions. <laughs> Man, that's a mansion. And Robin Mansions. Mansions. <laughs> Get the wiggle in there. Mansions. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, a couple of feelings, a couple of feelings. <laughs> yeah. Firstly, what's this? Um, I think it's something. Yeah, you it's know? something. Ooh, I'm not going to forget this. What is it? What are you trying to tell me? I think I like it. Oh, I don't know. I it's don't... wacky. Yeah, definitely the bejeweled eye patch. I didn't hate it. Didn't hate it. It was something else. Yep. Sharon comes out looking like Angelina Jolie from Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it was good. <laughs> it was wacky. Lens cap. Lens cap. Robin Mansions. Mansions. Robin Mansions. I mean, she looked like Hatchet Face from Crybaby. You don't know what that is. We're gonna watch Crybaby at some point. Don't worry, I'm gonna make him watch it. Um, it's great. It's a John okay. Waters movie. Okay. It's fabulous. It didn't help that like 
the face was so white and we could see his arms that were so tan. That, I, that was, I think, a big problem. And I yeah. was confused as to why she chose such a white makeup. Was it just to match family resemblance? Yeah. But it's like... Give it, him some sleeves, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That was the biggest problem for me was just like, white, tan. <laughs> Again, mime. Sure. I'm like, <laughs> you voguing? That was my that was my mind. Uh, it's hard with a wine glass. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> there it was good. Uh, oh no, this is actually real. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. My brain, my brain was like having problems. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's like wine glass just, in my there's hand. There's no pantomime because it's a it's a glass of wine. Oh boy. Uh, this episode broke us a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, not gonna lie. So then last was Chad and I forgot his girl's name. Lady Samantha. Right. I thought that the makeup, actually this was either my top makeup or second best yeah, makeup. it looked good. Yes. Um, and there was a good family resemblance in the makeup where it was like, yes. oh, this is, I like, I get it. Hated the dresses. The dresses were atrocious. Awful. He they did. looked like crazy clowns. Yeah, it was like this big top clown, you know, right? each with their own tent. Yeah. You know? <laughs> their baby bumps were not they bumps. They were just sort they were of like pear shaped. They were like speed humps instead of like a speed bump, you know? I do know. The bump was high. The too. silhouettes were terrible because yeah. there was no bust lines. Right. There was no differentiation. Exactly. So it was just a, a slope. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it looked really bad. It looked and I really bad. And I hated these fucking dresses. Hated it. Hated, hated, hated it. Hated it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So then we get into the judging and we have the same old sort of family. Oh, well the family resemblance is really, it's like, I don't. Whatever. And then we get a, um, I don't know what to call this. A moment with Fifi. If I could have a dad like him that my life would probably be a lot easier and you know I wish I, I had that bond so it's nice to have a friend like this. I think it was mostly sincere. I think it was 95% sincere. Yep, heartfelt. Yes. And um and nice. I mean it was it was it seemed cathartic for Fifi and I, I thought that was lovely, and this is when I was like, oh, this is why she won, that's right. Yeah, Because exactly. I, I didn't think her looks were fabulous. No. Uh, but They I were like, fine. Oh, she right. handed up the two on the runway. I think that really makes a big difference. They really did play it up on the runway, and then she, you know, showed her she vulnerability and, and utilized everything that was going on that yeah. week or whatever. I was like, oh, that's why. I guess you could say she took the challenge to heart. Yeah. 100%. Kenya's, I mean, Kenya's part, he just looks so... Fucking miserable. I have like four underwears right now. Even these shoes, they're glued to my feet right now. <laughs> she can't even kick them off. Glued to your, like literally, like they're literally glued, they're glued to my feet. And they're just all like, ha! Ah! Michelle is dying. I loved it. Yeah, they I loved are. it. She's like, yeah, they are. Oh, no. <laughs> so another quick commercial break and then we will be back. <laughs> So, so Fifi wins. Fifi wins. And, and Kenya and Latrice are in the bottom. This yes. one was tough for me. I couldn't decide, but this made the most sense to me, I think. I might have put Chad down there because the dresses were Horrible. horrific. Yeah. And also, I kind of wanted to see what she had. Latrice just fucking killed last week's lip sync. I think Latrice looks gorgeous. I think Latrice's Dilf's face looked gorgeous. So I might have I might have put Chad down there, just to see. Sure. But I think I mean I'm serious. I think because of oh, this song, yeah. they were like, well, we have to put the juice down there. I mean, that's just yeah, it's gonna be fucking yeah. great. But yes, they have to lip sync to "You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman" by Aretha Franklin. <gasps> so this is Iconic. now this is oh, and hands down the best lip sync of the season. Mm. Mm. You still think? Dita's is so good. It really is great. Oh, I, I think know. because the uh, everlasting love is more uh, fun. More fun. That's fair. It's like eek. Yeah. It's like eking okay. it out. Okay. They're very different. Yes. So I'm not super here for comparing them. Sure. I mean, it was oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. So anyway, yes, they have to lip sync, and I mean, uh, Aretha Franklin appears on stage. Well, she um, already had pregnant, once this season. Pregnant drag queen Aretha. I mean, yes. she's just her. It's yes. craziness, and she starts singing to that baby. Oh my She's singing, oh, she's singing to, oh, just, and standing in one spot, look at my mouth, yeah. 
everything is happening oh, here. So and Kenya is immediately doing ballet, ballet and, and dancing and, 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 and I guess she was lip syncing. Yes, I don't remember. She was, it, but it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Kenya did not take the I'm gonna listen and live this song path. No, it was I'm gonna lip sync this song out. Yes, right. But Latrice was like. Oh no, I took you to church and back again. Yes. yes. She lived the words, she lived the song. She was Aretha Franklin. It was great. Singing to her unborn baby. I mean, <laughs> Jesse Tyler Ferguson was just like. Like he he like needed to grab Michelle, like, ah, it's happening, it's all happening. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in life makes sense now. Who's that? I get it. My life is complete. <laughs> Thank you, Latrice. Well, and then, oh my god. So yes, Latrice is just, I mean, it's like. It's literally night and day, you know what I mean? She is emoting everything, and Kenya is sort of this little sprite. Flittering Flittering sprite. Around, around her, like, oh, I'm over here. And yep. when she goes behind her, you can't see her at all. And then she takes off that wig. Oh my god, that's right! And Santina goes, oh no. <laughs> it was like so, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It's like, oh, and it's over. It's like, have it, you not? It was already guess, over, but now you just nailed the final nail in the coffin. Oh. It was the wrong song. Was. Well, uh, because then she looked crazy. Yes. She was doing Crazier. a lot of, a lot of eyes, a lot of big eyes, and with the wig gone, the hair was a little crazy. I mean, obviously, Latrice wins. Obviously, Latrice wins, like, hands down, no questions asked. So, Kenya goes home again. Yes. And, you know... We have a final four. Again. <laughs> Again. The same final four. The same final four. <laughs> I, w I wish it was Willem instead of Fifi. Yeah, me too. And then that would be my final four. Shit, but... can you imagine? That would have been a sickening final four. It would have been. So this week on Untucked. Ugh. Yeah, this was... Ugh. Ugh. So it was a lot of like, oh, they're in there with the bro dudes. I mean, and I like... just don't mean... I don't mean to d diminish it. But I was so over yeah. the like... Now that I've walked in heels, I see what my wife has to go through. And being a woman is hard. And I'm like, yeah, of course it is. I can't right now. There's so much. I don't. I can't have this conversation with you right now. And just all this kind of blah, blah, blah. Oh, now that I've actually met a gay person and all of these things, I don't know. I know that everyone's has different circumstances, but I personally was like, I can't have this conversation anymore. Exactly. About the heels and the, oh, we spent a day in their shoes and, oh, they're real people too. <laughs> oh, oh, what, they're real people too? Oh my God. Yeah, they are. You're saying it to their face. Right? Oh my God, you're a real person. You guys are good. You, you, <laughs> you exist and deserve rights. Human rights as a person. What? Well, wait, so we didn't even talk about that, like, gay marriage conversation where at first he seems mm. to be coming off real strong like you guys shouldn't be able to get married oh I guess you're right why I do think... you want to call it marriage right because it was something like it felt religious yeah it was like call it something different yeah it was like, and then Chad was like but I can't because it needs to be the same and thing. he like broke it down for yeah. him and it's you know everyone needs to learn and the more you're exposed to it the better but yeah. I was just like I was over it yeah. at this moment yeah in time in my life yep so then they separate the girls they have to go to the gold bar and, and you pink furry box and it's uh, there's ice cream and pickles in the box right and they're because, all sort of like oh yeah pregnant but sharon oh does God. try she and dips her pickle ice in that cream ice cream covered pickle and don't pull a whim oh my god <laughs> <laughs> they go back to the dilfs and the guys are sort of like talking to sharon's uh, right. Grandpa, like, oh, what was like that fight though? That seemed weird. I was like laughing on the inside. Well, well maybe no. you should laugh on the outside. <laughs> That's how we joke, you know. We were like, you know, I don't have that serious well, poker face. Got... That's how we joke. Oh yeah. That's, Who's we? we? Like it's a royal we. Yeah. He keeps just being like, well, we, the people of the of me and my. It was very weird. It was so weird. That's how we joke. We, who's we? I don't know. Dude bros. Yeah. Gross dude bros. Ugh. We get back into the gold bar and they're talking about Kenya's guy's giant oh, pepito, yes. what was it? <laughs> Grande pito. <laughs> Did you pull that meat all the way back up into the hot dog bun? Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Kenya! Well then Fifi is like, well my guy just like oh, just knew how to tuck. Yeah, he's tucked before. Oh my god, I love Chad. <laughs> I don't want to say it's weird, but that's real different. They cut back and Fifi's guy is like, oh yeah. <sighs> 
Before I even knew I was ever going to come here. I go in the shower, I come out, I'm like, hey, baby, I did it. Oh, me and my wife, I was in the shower and I came out and I had tucked. Uh, and I was like, hey, honey, look what I did. And she was like, never do that again. And I was like, what's going on? I don't know. What this life, what's your marriage, what's happening? Yeah, right. And everyone keeps talking about Silence of the Lambs. Oh, right. I mean, that was probably the first instance of tucking on screen. Oh. Probably. You haven't seen it, but Buffalo Bill, like, tucks his dick back and it's, like, doing a little... To make, like, a little mangina kind of thing. He makes... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, like, fully... It's not, like, tucked for... It's a way. Drag per... It's just a yes. way. Yes. He's having a moment to himself in his kimono and dancing. Oh. And that has to probably be the first instance. I can't think of another one. At least in, like, a mainstream movie. Sure. So, yeah, but they keep talking about it. It's so weird to me. I guess maybe when you're so dependent on your penis to justify, like, your manliness and your manhood right, right. and, like, your machismo, like, maybe then there's a lot going on and the idea of putting it away is threatening to your... It's just so... Manhood. It's so threatening. It's like, you guys, it's just fucking duct tape. Like, it's not like it's a big deal. You're not chopping it off. You're not... Anyway, I'm not taping my... Dick. Uh, I'm not taping my dick. Just tuck it back and don't feel that bad. It's okay. I remember a friend in high school talking after he saw Silence of the Lambs. This was when, uh, once again, where I, where I said, where do they find these guys? Oh my god, I don't know. No, where, but where? How, where, who do they know, what did they do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't Who knows? Know. And then, you know, they like all, all come sit back together in a and sharing circle for like 10 minutes yeah. and talk about how I, I want to thank you and you you're did this. Great. And, yeah, no, I never okay. met a gay person. Right. You really changed my my perception. Well, you're a creep and it was <laughs> fine working with you. <laughs> well, you're a creep. You guys are real people. Okay, you're not freaks. You're real people with real feelings, with real love. You're real people. Uh, they also just placate each other. It was like, yeah. all right, let's go and tuck yeah. and get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you pried my mind open, and I pried his mind open a little bit, and I think that it was good for everybody. So, so yeah, that was this week's episode. I always hate this episode. I hate this challenge. We made it through. We made it through. Uh, and it was a fabulous fucking lip sync. Yes, So it I was, was here for it. There yes. was fun stuff. There, there was fun yeah, stuff. I yeah. just always have problems. Sure. I just want them to clarify. But next week, oh boy, it's ball time. The bitch ball. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yes. Subscribe, Subscribe, share, thumbs up. Share? Share whole. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. Share never says that. Share would never say that. <laughs> share is kind. Share, is patient. Is... share doesn't judge. <gasps> Which we have turned into a shirt. Yeah. Or other things. I think that could be a fabulous post towel. Oh, yes. But also a poster. A poster. A, a big old poster that says... A yes. big old poster. Big old poster. Oh. Tote bag. <gasps> yes. Phone case. Ooh. All of these. I'm those excited. are really... That's a good I'm one. I'm genuinely excited yeah. about this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. cheers to next week. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just because. I think the walls are too big. Ah. I'm sorry.